hello guys welcome back in this video let's explore the curve lathe brush so you could see that in the curve category so ideally i i pick the plane uh, to draw model on top of it so i'm right now in the front view so i'm just clicking here and i'm just dragging it over like that and then i will draw a shape uh, which could be a possibly a pot like shape here and then uh, when uh, it comes uh, it snaps below uh, the curve so when, when it comes here release it and you end up getting a, a pot like model here so if the brush is uh, bigger and then when i click that the polygon density is uh, lesser here i mean the if you could carefully see every red color and black color is becoming one segment of the curve and that segment is giving that loop here so that is something really you need to check you also have uh, the stroke menu here you can go there and then in stroke menu you have uh, the curve options and then you have uh, lock start and lock end so what that actually means is when i click and drag uh, this line there's a chance that this curve is completely getting distracted or goes away from that place so what i have to do is i need to lock the start which is basically this circle and this circle so i just both uh, switch on them and then when i move it uh, it stays intact there okay so i can just uh, uh, edit these points here just start moving it uh, the low poly is a uh, recommended way because uh, it allows you to control the shape uh, intact so take your time and then build it uh, you also have this elastic and liquid option where you can click and drag and then you get a new curve generated there so elastic will give you a straight line that you need to keep in mind however you can use liquid which can generally uh, give you more curvy uh, shape to model there okay like that so uh, you have all these options to edit uh, mostly you can rely on these two things and uh, you get the model here okay click on the plane to accept the model and then you got your model here which can be used for further modeling purposes so if you go to the sub tool it is in one sub tool you can go to the split and then choose split to the parts option there and then that will come out of the plane and uh, this model is a separate sub tool for you